this is Hui Shi from Inardo Music. In this video, I will discuss the scale of C major played a third apart. Most students are able to play scales with hands an octave apart. I also recommend practice of playing scales a third apart, which means left hand play on the tonic and the right hand play starts on the median. To take C major as an example, we start with our left hand on C, and then we start with right hand on E. From C to E, it's a third interval. That's why we call it a third apart scale. Comparing to the octave apart scale, a third apart scale is more difficult for both hands to be completely synchronized. Even though they share the same fingerings and the notes, the permutations of fingering pattern are not the same. The fingering for a third apart scale will follow the octave apart scale fingerings. The left hand fingering is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. We arrive on C with thumb. For regular octave apart scale, our right hand uses 1, 2, 3 to play C, D, E. For a third apart scale, we use the same third finger on right hand to start on note E. We play E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E and use fingering 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Now let me demonstrate slowly for only one octave with both hands together. My suggestions for the practice of a third apart scale are as follows. First, practicing it in slow tempo and making sure you are playing the correct notes with correct fingering. Second, if it's necessary, practice hands separately. Third, have hands play together precisely with only one octave notes at a time. For example, I'm trying to play a four octave uh, scale. Let's start the first octave. Stop on the end of the first octave and double check your fingering and the notes are correct or not. If you're fine with the first octave, add second octave. Add the third octave. And complete the entire ascending pattern. After you finish the ascending pattern, you can move on for descending pattern. Use the same method. One octave and then add another octave. Add the third octave. And then complete it. After practicing a third apart parallel motion scale, do contra motion as well. Practicing every skill with contra motion will help you developing some basic hand independence and coordination. Now let me demonstrate in medium tempo for C major, a third apart contra motion scale. I 
hope this video is helpful for you to practice a third apart C major scale. If you have any question, you may leave comments for me. I'll see you next time.